name's Josh Stein, and I'm from Manhattan. I'm the CEO and co-founder of AdhereTech, and AdhereTech makes smart, patented pill bottles that improve medication adherence. I've always been interested in math, and I guess when you're a kid, people would say, oh, you're good at math, you should go into finance. That was about as far as the thought process went, but I'm sure like a lot of kids out there, I was also really interested in design and products and mechanics. So when you kind of look at that amalgamation of interests, it really lends one toward entrepreneurship. Both of my parents are in healthcare. My dad's a doctor, my mom's an occupational therapist, so I've been around uh, healthcare my whole life. So one day I was having a conversation with my parents about the biggest problems in healthcare, and they sort of opened my eyes to the issue of medication non-adherence. Patients don't take their pills, and it's a really costly problem, both in terms of money and lives. I came up with an idea for a pill bottle with a very simple timer on the lid to help patients take their pills. Did a bit of diligence, saw that similar products already existed, and then sort of brainstormed the ideal solution to this problem. So making a pill bottle intelligent, something that patients could interact with. What we've done is we've put cell phone technology inside of a pill bottle. The pill bottle has a number of sensors inside of it. Every time the patient uses the bottle, it sends two pieces of data into the cloud. Number one, a timestamp of the open and close of the cap and number two, a measurement as to how much medication is removed from the bottle. So we analyze that data, and we compare what a patient is doing to what they should be doing. We entered hardware battlefield because we're avid readers of TechCrunch. The ability to get on the TechCrunch stage, be associated with TechCrunch, and just get this technology uh, out in front of the hundreds of thousands or millions of eyeballs that see this uh, is an opportunity we couldn't pass up. We like our chances going into hardware battlefield because we've created a product that not only works really well and looks really pretty, but it's something that will improve the lives of real patients as well. Welcome back, I'm John Biggs. This is Hardware Battlefield. This is our second contestant, Josh Stein uh, with Adhere Tech. You have six minutes on the clock to show off your uh, product. Let's get started right now. Great. Hi, my name is Josh Stein, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of AdhereTech. We make patented smart pill bottles that improve medication adherence and patient engagement, and these bottles are currently being used by real patients in clinical trials. So the problem that we're solving is that of medication adherence, which basically means patients taking the right pill at the right time. Medication adherence is arguably the most costly problem in healthcare today, leading to about $300 billion in costs, $100 billion in lost revenues, and 125,000 deaths in the US alone every year. So that's why we created the Adhere Tech bottle. Here's how it works. Every time the patient uses the bottle, it sends two pieces of data into the cloud. Number one, a timestamp of the open and close of the cap, and number two, a measurement of the amount of medication removed. Our servers then analyze this data, which basically tells us how many pills a patient took and when they took them, and we compare this to a patient's recommended dosage schedule, what they should be doing. Now, if we notice a discrepancy, like the patient didn't take their pills, then we intervene, and we intervene in two ways. So uh, the LED lights in the bottle are normally very bright. They're just kind of hard to see in here due to the stage lighting and sunlight, so I'm just gonna protect it with this little pouch. But uh, during the optimal dosage time, the time when a user should take their pills, the bottle glows blue, sort of calling the user over, saying right now you should take your meds. And, uh, and once that optimal dosage time has passed, the bottle flashes red, it beeps, and uh, this is the same time when the user gets that second form of intervention, which is an automated phone call or text message alert. So we have on-bottle lights and chimes, and we also have phone or text message alerts as well. So when designing this bottle, we were guided by two main philosophies, making it very easy to use and making it extremely versatile. So we put a wireless CDMA module inside of the bottle. So the bottle automatically sends all data over the Verizon data network. This means that patients don't have to sync it to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It simply works the moment they get it from the pharmacy. And patients use this just like a normal bottle. Uh, they, uh, they open and close it with a normal cap. All data is collected and analyzed in a completely passive manner, and we only intervene if patients don't take their meds. We put a 45-day battery inside of the bottle, so patients don't have to charge it for a standard 30-day prescription, but if patients use it for longer, say for a 90-day prescription, they simply charge it once overnight using the standard micro USB port on the bottom of the bottle. And this is very easy to use, even for, even for the non-tech savvy. You don't have to download any apps. You, uh, you can use this with a landline or with a cell phone. 
And uh, our reminder alerts can come in the form of email, text message, or automated phone call, whatever the patient prefers. And these alerts can be sent to uh, caregivers or family members as well. We've built this solution with an open API so we can easily integrate with all of our, all of our healthcare partners. And this bottle has a very thoughtful design, including a flat front surface for easy uh, application and reading of prescription labels. It's also designed to the contours of the human hand, which allows for easy gripping and opening of the bottles. And uh, we also go beyond reminders to solicit feedback from patients. For example, a cancer patient might not take their meds consciously due to very intense side effects. So when we send those reminder notifications to patients, we also ask them why they didn't take their meds. So if we find out that a cancer patient didn't take their pills due to intense nausea, we can alert the appropriate party in real time and perhaps recommend an anti-nausea treatment to that patient. So our business model is to partner with uh, specialty pharma, uh, pharma companies to distribute high-cost drugs in our bottle. Now, these are drugs for very serious disease states like cancer, HIV, and, uh, and other disease states like that. And drugs for these diseases can oftentimes be hundreds of dollars per single pill. So AdhereTech will increase adherence, refills, and ultimately revenues for the pharma company. We'll charge pharma for this service. So pharma is our customer. Patients are our users. Patients will get this bottle from the specialty pharmacy completely free of charge for certain high-cost specialty meds. Uh, we recently began our randomized control trials with top-tier institutions, such as the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center and Weill Cornell Medical College. We're essentially measuring the degree to which we improve adherence and outcomes over the status quo. And we've also secured two pharma partnerships with top pharma companies, including Behringer Engelheim and another top 10 pharma company that we can't mention just yet. And we have commitments from these pharma companies that when these trials go well, they will become our partners. Um, and the real exciting thing about this is that with even one partnership with one company for one drug, our revenues will be in the multi-millions of dollars. So there are other adherence tools out there, but what really sets us apart is that we're the easiest to set up and the easiest to use. When you look at non-adherent patients, these aren't the types of patients to go through long and complicated hurdles to set up these solutions. So this is where AdhereTech really shines. In addition, we collect the most accurate and granular data out there. We have a great team with relevant business, software, and hardware experience. We've also put together a great board of advisors from top healthcare companies. On top of that, we recently signed a partnership with GE Healthcare that will help us grow and scale in the coming years. So uh, at AdhereTech, we've built a device that will improve the lives of patients. It's currently being used by patients in clinical trials. Early data is extremely promising. We're always looking for additional uh, investors, partners, or just those that understand what this technology can and will become. So uh, if you're interested, please feel free to contact us on our website at HereTech.com. Uh, once again, my name is Josh. Uh, thanks very much for your time, and I'd like to open up the floor to the judges. to uh, ask a few questions here. So you said we a lot, we analyze the data. Do I steal every one of the questions no, that you've no, been thinking no, no. about? Um, I, so how do you scale the we of that? Imagine if you had a thousand cus you know, customers, a million customers. So un in, under want to understand how you plan on scaling. And then who is responsible for initially providing the data and letting you know what what the patient is supposed to be taking when, because I didn't understand when that gets entered into the process. Yeah, so in terms of scalability, uh, we, I'm just referring to adhere tech in general. Right. All of the uh, analysis is done in a completely automated system. So we know how many pills the patient should be taking, and we look at the bottle readings. If we notice a discrepancy, like they didn't take their pills, we intervene, all done automatically so it's fully scalable. Our system can currently accommodate 60 bottle readings per second, and uh, I mean, we can just expand from there. Um, to her question, though, yeah. how do you know how many pills they're supposed to take each day? Right. So uh, the way we do that right now, because we're just in, uh, we're doing clinical trials, is the study coordinator for our clinical trial will ask the patient, how, when do you take, or when do you want your, uh, when do you typically take your pills? We put all that information into fields on our website, and then that gets stored, and we compare the bottle readings to that. So we realize right now that requires a bit of labor for the study coordinators to type that in. Eventually, we're going to have a system where you could just scan it all in, just getting the information from the prescription label, putting that into our system. But right now, it's uh, manually input by study coordinators. With the, uh, oh, sorry. with the cellular connectivity, you know, I imagine you've got quite a bit of expense in the product, which is one reason you don't want to sell it directly to consumers. You want to go through the pharma partners. Um, would you be concerned that a lower-priced product might come in that uses Wi-Fi or 
uh, cheaper means and, and limit your market potential? So it's not really that big of a concern because um, we could always make that move as well. We, uh, we really looked at adherent, non-adherent patients. And I mean, not only do some of them not have any access to Wi-Fi or they don't have phones to link to Bluetooth, uh, we just thought this would be the most comprehensive and easy and foolproof solution. So that's why we went the, uh, the cellular connectivity route. It seems like a relatively limited market. Um, in, 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 in terms of the total, total population or total number of people with prescriptions. So yeah, I mean, uh, the specialty pharmacy market that we're entering into, it's a $40 billion market, and it basically represents all of the growth in pharma. So uh, it's actually a very robust market that we're entering into. And um, even with a few number of partnerships, this will be a very lucrative solution. So this isn't for like my tummy medicine no. or something. This is for like somebody who has some serious stuff. This is for very serious disease states, cancer, HIV, and diseases of the like. This might be like a super naive question, but uh, how do you know it's not a false positive? Like, how do you know they didn't reach in, took out a pill, and threw it out? So um, in our uh, research, that really only happens with patients with mental disorders. They'll consciously try to fool uh, the bottle. The real hurdle here, or in medication adherence, is getting the patient to engage with the bottle. If patients uh, on disease states like the ones we're working with open their bottle, typically they're taking it. And throwing bottles or throwing pills into the sink really only happens with certain subsets of patients that we're not working with uh, initially. Got it. Um, the, uh, the fact that it's a 45-day battery is a little concerning to me. And then when you mentioned all the alerts, you actually didn't say a battery low notification alert as one of your alerts. Is that already in the product? So we do have that. We just don't put that in our pitch because too much information, maybe information overload. But yeah, we know the battery level. We also take other uh, measurements as well, such as the temperature, uh, the humidity of where the medication is stored. Um, so it really is a very comprehensive product for very uh, intense medications. So when I go to the when I go to the pharmacy, I get the pharmacist himself will say, "Oh, you have this special medication. You need this special bottle." Or is there a sort of a doctor pharmacist says uh, that they have to talk to each other? Yeah. So this will be initially distributed through specialty pharmacies. So the way we always describe those is they're not your traditional CVS or Walgreens. They're places where very sick patients go to pick up their meds, like the disease states where we're working. And it's much more of a uh, doctor's visit than a traditional pharmacy appointment. You go in there, you speak with the pharmacist, they tell you about different treatment options. So that's where we're going to be distributed initially. If my, my concern about yours is it seems great. It's just about uh, IP and uh, competition. Mm -hmm. So like, if you were just going to sum it up in you know, 15 or 30 seconds, given the fact that you're going to be a huge success and there's going to be 10 companies that are going to copy everything you do exactly, what's going to make you stand out and win five years from now? Yeah, so I mean, we do have that IP background. We have a, one fully issued patent. We have a, a number of pending patents that cover many, many technologies, both uh, hardware and software for our bottle. But I think what really sets us apart is that we are the only company that really looked at these non-adherent patients, look at the way they typically behave, and we said, okay, we need a solution that fits into their lives. A lot of the other competitions are these very complicated solutions. They ask patients that are, are not taking their pills today to put all of their pills into these pill boxes, program it, set it up, and we think there's a bit of a disconnect there. So we really think about the non-adherent patient, how they normally behave, and we want to fit into their lives. Why? How did you come about this idea? Uh, I mean, we spoke with numerous patients. Yeah, but like, was there a passion for this industry or oh, okay. a family yeah. member, like, curious, like, just what spawned the, the interest in the first place? Yeah, so both of my parents work in healthcare, um, and I've always done uh, entrepreneurial ventures. They opened my eyes to the issue of medication non-adherence. I came up with a, an initial idea, a very simple timer on the top of a bottle, um, saw that similar solutions already existed, recruited a great team, and together we jointly put all this technology into the bottle made a really comprehensive solution. Is adherence really a black and white issue or do some people occasionally forget a pill or some people are way off the charts? Uh, yeah, um, it's, it's extremely complicated. It's not black and white at all. I mean, even the definitions of adherent patients vary. So I mean, that's why we built this bottle to be as versatile as possible. So although it is built and optimized for very sick patients where it's very important they have to take their pills every day, uh, it could be used, like in our trials right now, our first trials for type 2 diabetes medication. So the patients are using uh, the bottles there with great success as well. All right, super. Josh Stein, AdhereTech.
Thank you for coming onto our stage. And I want to thank our judges, Slava Rubin, CEO of Indiegogo, Julie Ehrman, CEO of OUYA, and Ross Rubin, our, uh, our analyst friend here from Reticle <laughs> Research. I'm John Biggs. This has been the first session of Hardware Battlefield, CES 2014. And uh, <laughs> we're going straight to the show floor right now, I guess at the Venetian. And if you want to come back and see the rest of Hardware Battlefield, we have another session at 3 o'clock. Uh, tune in then. I'm John Biggs. This is TechCrunch. Thanks for watching.